Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Sim Shack, and of course, welcome back to me, Sim UK. I'm going to take a look today at a game called Global Farmer. This comes from Terabytes GmbH, and it's published by Aerosoft. They've sent the key over to me to have a quick look at it before it comes out. This is just the demo. You guys could take a look um, in a couple of weeks when it comes out. Part of the Steam Fest demo expose i'll read you what the game is about it looks really good actually farm the world in an immersive top-down management game that lets you choose your farm's location anywhere on the real world map they're using real street maps uh to give a world an entirely world um access i guess it's it's sounds really good right want to experience a rich strawberry harvest in the french countryside or challenge the hot uh sun in south america the choice is yours so um you can see here it's made by fmod studio um using fmod studio and map data from OpenStreetMap. let's jump into settings this is my first look i know nothing of the game let's do pounds um we'll do england i think let's turn the music off the music's quite nice but I don't want to get into any trouble. Quality is set to medium. It's a demo, so I'm not going to mess with that. I'll just leave it as is. And everything here looks quite good. Cultivate, plow, prepare seed bed, seed spray, irrigate, harvest, and fertilize. So that sounds pretty good. Let's go new game. Let's go. Ah, okay. So it says anywhere in the world. So we've picked Central Europe. So we select that city or postal code oh, that's pretty cool right uh something in bournemouth oh hang on that's germany so it looks like we are restricted at the moment Oh, here we go. For the demo, we pre-selected one city per region. In the final game, you will be able to play all over the world. Okay, I didn't notice that. Okay, so it looks like when the game fully releases, we'll have that availability to us. So we have 1,442 available manageable fields in this region. 1,442? That's mental. Temperature ranges from between minus 5 to 26 degrees Celsius. Sunshine duration 1 to 8 hours a day. Rain probability anywhere from 0 to 100. Rain amount heavy. Okay. Average field value sand, clay, both 20 to 40%. Silt, 30 to 50%. Nitrogen levels 200 to 250 kilograms per hectare. Phosphorus 100 to 200. Potassium 200 to 250, pH value 67. This is looking really good. I'm liking the detail already. This is quite exciting. Preparing field modifications. Generate border trees. Okay. This could be very, very, very good. Oh, okay. Place your farm on a valid location. Your farm is your home. This is where you place all your buildings and park your vehicles. It has to be placed near a road. It cannot be placed on other farming fields or on other buildings. So I could place it there then, in this little spot. See how far we can zoom out. So we can zoom out quite far. We've got a main road coming down here. Oh, look. Looky, looky, look. Wow, that's a big realistic i mean these are really cities these are really buildings this is very exciting really keen to get involved in this can i you know farmland farmland so I'm, I, I'm guessing that is the best spot really well actually there that's not bad no that doesn't count because it's a field what about that So it has to be within a certain range. Oh, there we go. There's a nice little spot. Bosh. 
Looks like a great spot for your farm. This is your central hub for all your farm buildings and vehicles. Design your favourite farm layout and utilise the extensive selection of vehicles to maximise your agricultural potential. Go to your farm by clicking on the farm building or the farm button at the bottom of the screen. In this demo, you can play for 15 years. £215,000 has been added to my bank account. So we're playing in pounds, but we're in Germany. We'll let that go because I didn't realise it would be limited to uh, one city in Central Europe. Right. Roads and parking. Buy three roads, straight elements, and three parking spaces. Okay, so WASD moves the camera around ridiculously slowly. So let me just see if I can do anything about that. No, nope, apparently not. Pressing shift doesn't go any faster. Okay, so WASD does move. My gosh, is it slow. Right. So this is our little house, I think. Oh, hello. You can get a close-up view of it. Nice. Got the washing out and everything. <laughs> um, so I can't get the camera down to tilt any more than that. So that's the closest you can get to the building. And it looks like it's sort of cordoned off this bit of land. That I can work with. So let's begin by building a road piece. Well, simple as that. Okay, so now I've got to build three parking spaces. Um, see road intersections implements ah hang on parking space not in the demo medium sized parking space or small sized parking space okay so how do I rotate press R okay so I'm not quite sure how this works but we'll put a small space there A small space there and we'll put a medium space up here and hopefully I've left enough gap there for uh, a road section yeah looks good so <clears throat> as a test we'll leave this without the road piece this one has got a road and this one is on the main road and we'll see how how it goes oh it did i didn't see that it wants me to buy three small parking spaces so we'll get another small one we'll stick in that side like so right prepare your vehicle fleet by one small tractor let's do as we're told this time not in demo medium tractor small tractor A small tractor to pull the basic implements. With its low horsepower, it can't pull larger implements. Yeah, implements. 21,500 this is. Okay. So, let's rotate him. Stick him in that parking spot. By one seeded seed bed preparator. There you go. Speed bed preparator. I would call that a cultivator, but they call that a cultivator. So, what's the difference? Necessary to efficiently prepare seed beds, necessary action before seeding. Okay, we've got that. Place it in that spot. One vegetable planter. What's the other thing? A carrot harvester. Okay, we'll buy that now. Cool. But it's quite big. That's going to have to go on its own parking thing. And where is that vegetable planter? Ten grand for that. 
can plant carrots. Uh, I'm not sure if that's cauliflower or... Doesn't tell me. It looks like onions, but that also looks like an onion. And cucumbers. So cucumbers, carrots, definitely. Lettuce or cabbage or, cu or cauliflower, not sure. Radish, maybe? An onion? I think so. So let's, let's pop this. Uh, build two refrigerated silos. Warehouses, sorry. Warehouses. Two small refrigerated warehouses. Okay. Make sure the door is facing the correct way. Lovely. Manage workers. Hire one worker. Contracts. Nope. Uh... Here we go. Add a worker. £430 a month. Wow. Cheap. Hiring cost. £2,000 some god. Confirm. Let's get growing. Great work, farmer. All your machines and workers are ready to work on your first crop. Select a field on the map and press buy. Access the planting screen by pressing on plant. Right. So I think that's a field. How do I get back to the map? How do I get out of this and go back to the map. Press M. Of course. If I zoom in, weirdly, that doesn't look like anything I've just built is there. But I'm pretty sure that's my house, right? Yeah. So none of that is visible on the map. Slightly disappointing. Right, is that a field? That is a field. So I can buy that for 2700 That's quite cheap. Plant your first crop. Okay, so we're going to plant carrots. Wow, there's a lot of information here. <clears throat> Select your field and press plant. The timing has an effect on how well your crop grows. If you choose the wrong one, there may be no yield at all. Take a look at the different values to see if they match your chosen timing. The crop fit value. Percentage on the left. Crop fit value. Okay, so we're not going to get a lot of sunshine there, presumably because of the, the trees, but just enough. Six to eight hours, we're going to get maybe six so it's perfect for everything except for the temperature and the sunshine duration but that may be because of the time of year so plan the following steps and assign the required field under machines in the respective tab seeded preparation seeding harvesting selecting the field you can see how healthy the harvest is and how long it still has to grow Fast forward and watch the carrots grow on the field. I can see it's snowing. First of the first, it's too early for carrots. But the problem is it made us buy carrot harvester. And that's only get any good for harvesting carrots. So I have to buy carrot. I have to plant carrots rather. Let's just go for it. Let's say go for it. I mean, what's the point? <coughs> That's not going to get enough. None of them are going to get enough because they're making us plant carrots at the wrong time of year. Maybe they want us to fail. Maybe that's the point of this. Okay. So, ah. Okay, that's interesting. So, I click on the field. I've selected carrots. Uh, I can click on plant. 
I'm thinking about March. March. Carrots, carrots, carrots. There we go. Trying to work this out. So there's two. All right, six to eight hours. Okay, so let's drag it back to the earliest point we can get it. So it looks like... I think there. I think March, end of March, I think, is the earliest we can put the carrots in. Right. So plant for 484. Let's go next step. So we've chosen the seed. We want to cultivate. We use a machine to cultivate. I'm a bit confused. We don't have, we don't appear to have a cultivator, but what we've got is that seed preparer, seed bed preparer type thing, which in my eyes is a cultivator. But according to this, we don't have any implements to do it with. Um... Maybe I don't need to do this step. Oh, I see. So if I click on this, I can see that it adds cultivation, which takes seven days. Because, well, it says here 100 days. Should that be a hundred hours? A hundred days seems like an awful lot. Maybe that sh uh, is meant to be a hundred hours. A bit confusing at the moment, but okay. Uh, we'll take cultivation off because you can see that we've got a 90 day growing period, a seed bed, which is going to take one day, planting the seed one day. That wind sound is freaky. And the harvesting is going to take one day. So what's this? Yield prognosis, three point. 673 which is 12 percent that's that seems crap if i move it there five percent ten percent twenty eight percent forty three percent ninety five percent what does this mean is that bad nine the higher it is is worse let's plant it at the beginning of april then that's five percent I'm confused, but that must be a neg it must be a negative value, right? The, you want that as low as possible. Let's try it. Warnings none. Confirm. Right. <laughs> oh my word. Skip to the next action. Okay, so that's going to skip us. We're going to we're going to start planting in fifty days. Okay, that's kind of cool actually. There it is. There's our little tractor. Excuse me, I've got terrible hay fever. 
So I can't zoom in any more than that. And I can't see it doing the work, which is a bit disappointing. But I really like the premise. I think the idea of this is fantastic. But I would like to see some visual changes. Maybe once it's finished doing the field, the whole field will change. I don't know. Let's speed things up a little bit. Wow, that's a lot. So it hasn't changed at all. Ah, now it changes. Okay. Harvest carrots from the field. Right, let's do it. Get to the end and we'll see how well we've done. Apparently they're carrots. <coughs> There's my carrot picker. Speed it up again. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this, look at all the carrots they've wasted. I'm not very happy about that. You have harvested your first crop. Now is the time to go to the marketplace and sell your earnings profitably. You can access the marketplace by pressing the button at the bottom of the screen. Right, so, so that's my farm, that's the map, that switches between farm and map, marketplace, carrots, three pound a kilo, we got 3,356, do we just... So I'm going to make 11,554 from, from that field. It's not bad, is it? I mean, it doesn't even cover half the cost of the tractor, but in about three or four years' time, that will cover the cost of the tractor. question is, will the tractor need repairs and maintenance and stuff? This could be really good, this game. Right, so I've now got to increase nutrients. Biofertilizer spreader fertilize the field with the fertilized field action when your field loses nutrients it has a negative impact on crop health you can add nutrients to the field by selecting the fertilizer field action in the field info box planting a crop that gives nutrients back to the field okay that's very cool very cool indeed um so I could buy this little field. Very cheap. And I could plant some carrots in there. Again, I want to do carrots. So we're a little bit at the end of the season. So I don't think we're going to do very well. We're going to get 37% lost yield uh but that's okay oh hang on can i move it okay can i move it to today no do you want to demolish this field no Okay, so I'm just going slightly off the tutorial here, just doing my own thing a smidge. But there we go, that's that done. So I now need to buy fertilizer spreader. And we'll plot that in that gap there. Very cool indeed. I wonder if I can move it once I put it down. Yes, move. And you can just sort of squeeze it into a gap. I like that. That's very cool. Um, fertilize your field with a fertilized field action. Right. So let's click on this to go back to the map. Click here. So we're low on nitrogen, low on potassium. So what do I want to do here? 
Fertilize field action. Six hundred and twenty-three bucks. That's going to cost. There we go. And away she goes. Shouldn't take more than a day. Um, now, interestingly, it looks like there's already carrots in that field. So I must have bought them with carrots already there. Which I didn't know I'd done. Not quite sure what happened there. Maybe we'll figure that out in time. Right, increase soil moisture by an irrigation implement. Irrigation implement. An irrigation hose reel? Do you think it's that? Oh, that's a big old thing. Can I put it just on the grass? No, okay. Right, so let's move this bad boy. We'll rotate him and we'll stick him on that spot there. And then we'll buy this massive hose thing. It's quite big. I wonder if I can get it. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's so cool. I love the way you can squeeze stuff together like that. That's really clever. Um, right, perform irrigation action. So I'm guessing that's this one. 208 bucks that's going to cost me. There goes the little tractor irrigating that field. Very quick job. Buy an anti-weed sprayer and spray pesticides on your field. Buy it, what? Anti-weed sprayer. Well, what's happened? I think the weather's changed. Anti-weed sprayer. Bosh. How much money we got left? 64,000. That's not a lot, is it? Um, this is good. I'm liking very much at the moment. Um, right. Click on that. Spray pesticides. That's 208 bucks. Now it wants me to do contract work. So if I go here to contracts, it'll take 400 days and only five grams. Vitamin Express, Vitamin Express OHG, Vitamin Express OHG champion sustainable agricultural practices. We partner with farmers who share our commitment to quality, ensuring a robust and responsible supply chain for the future of farming. Accept that contract. And then complete the contract. Right, so we've got carrot. Oh, that's cool. When you, when you zoom out, you can see what's going on. Where is this contract then? The speed at which the, the map moves is crazy. Crazy slow. Right, so I can't see anything on the map as per the contract still got a bit of time before we need to do that job um track contract click here to add or remove this contract to your hud wash by completing contracts you can unlock more lucrative contracts and earn more money Click on the contract button to open the contract window. Accept a contract of your choice. Pay attention to the deliverables and the time limit. You can observe contracts by clicking on the pin symbol in the respective contract. 
No, wait. He wants me to give him 500 kilograms of... What? He wants me to give him 500 kilograms of carrots in 300 days. Okay. So... We're not going to get much sun here, and we're also low on potassium. So I could fertilize with potassium. And I'm thinking maybe I could put some carrots down. I mean, we might only get a very small yield, but... There's a good chance we're going to fail this contract. Right, so I fertilised it, but it doesn't just immediately... Uh, ...do it. So I may have made a mistake there. I may have given it too much potassium. We'll see what that's like next season. Okay. Skip to the next action then. That should be harvesting this tiny field. We got 3,000 kilograms of carrots out of here. See how well or bad we do. I just need 500 kilograms of carrots and we're good. Oh no! <laughs> oh God! We're six kilograms of carrots short. That's mental, isn't it? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plant some carrots in there. Oh. We've got two hundred and thirty look how short we are. Six carrots, six kilograms of carrots. I might just go to Tesco's, buy some. And just finish off that contract for four grand. How frustrating is that? Um, right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to plan to plant carrots here. Can I not plan for next year? Oh, that sucks a bit. I can only plan for the end of this year. Oh, hang on. I can do next year. We're going to plant at the beginning of March carrots. Okay, so the field currently contains 100 kilograms per hectare of of potassium but i have put a potassium boost on there so actually that should be fine i'm wondering if i can get two loads of carrots in there that would be cool let's try let's do i'm just starting to play around with this now just to see what we can do with the time we've got so there's a very small window literally i want to get the carrots out put the new carrots in Okay, so that's planned for next year. That's currently bare. But I want to plant this for next year as well. And again, I'm going to try and double up. Bit of a gamble. We may end up with no yield whatsoever. But I like the fact that the game is allowing me to just take control of things and just try stuff out. Take a bit of a risk, a bit of a gamble. So how long have we got left on this contract? 160 days. I think we're going to fail this mission. Hopefully we'll get some money from it. Yeah, 
We're not going to get any cash here. Oh, no. All for six kilograms. We were so close to getting that as well. Six kilograms of carrots. That's all we missed by. We missed the deadline for that. So we get no money for that at all. Fine. Absolutely fine. Right, so we've... Hang on, we've got two tractors on the go here. That's interesting. So we're still low on potassium, even though I put potassium down. So I'm going to pay another 208 and hopefully get some potassium in that field. Otherwise, that field is in good condition. Down to 98 at the moment. Look at that. I'm not sure that's working, I'll be honest. Yeah, look, it's, it's still going down, even though I just put potassium on it. Oh, I put phosphorus on it. You spanner. Let's see what I did. I was meant to put potassium on it, and I put loads of phosphorus on it. I put way too much phosphorus in there. I didn't notice that potassium was K. Silly mistake. Okay. We'll get some carrots in here. And then I'll try and fix it. Right, so this field. There we go. That should fix that. This, oh, look, a little K has popped up. No potassium in this field. So we're going to. Oh my gosh. So we're going to put potassium in there. And nitrogen in there. We've got 58,000 left. Here we go. Here's the gamble. Oh, what's going on? So they're short on phosphorus. Zero potassium. We're going to have to get that done. This guy is short on potassium and nitrogen. Oh, you can do NPK. You can do all of it in one. We'll do it all together then. So we're still low on potassium. So let's just really focus on the potassium. Right, so that field is just about where it should be. This one's a nightmare. This is cool. I am liking this. I'm only doing two tiny little fields right now, and already I'm stressed. <laughs> okay, good. So the sun, we're a little bit low on sun. So we're going to have a bit of a problem here. Did I get no carrots out of either of them? Wait, 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 wait. We're in December. What? I got three thousand four hundred and ninety two. So I made 12,000. So I totally cocked that up, right? It's 2026. I'm sure I I prepped these twice for next season. Right, this field is now 100% ready to go. This field is 
slightly short of that stuff, so we'll just do that real quick. Right, so both these fields now are ready to go for next year's carrot harvest. So let's plant for next year. The nitrogen levels are going to drop right the way down for some reason. And the potassium. I'm liking this. Right. So we'll do one lot of carrots next year. Can I change fields? No, that's field 12. Doesn't say field 12 here anywhere, does it? I think it needs to, so I know which field is which. So this is meadow 13. So that's field 12, and that's meadow 13. I can change the name, but I think it should show up here what they are, personally. Um, right. So we are going to do next year carrots. The end of April, Bosch. Okay. And I look in contracts. They want a thousand kilograms, 400 days. We'll accept that because that's one whole year. And we should. With those two fields, be able to fulfill 1,000 kilograms of carrots and have a few thousand to sell on top of that and that would be good because we're quite low on cash so the last year was a bit of a flop kind of cut that up a bit which is great i've only got one worker imagine what we could do with two or three and i suppose you could plan like three four five years in advance couldn't you Right, so that's good. So we're preparing the seed bed. Seeding. Still, why is that bare? First of the fifth. When did we arrange to plant here? Oh, what's going on? Why why are we why are we why are we not planting carrots here? That's a little bit concerning. What went wrong there? Is that a bug or is that me making a mistake? You have to pay really close attention. My hay fever is getting out of control right now. I can only see through one eye. <laughs> Which is not making this any easier, that's for sure. Right, so we got both planted, both growing. No issues popping up. And a contract, if we go to contracts and I pin this, we can see the contract is right there. Here we go. 71% growth. That's not great. It's probably more than we had in the first year. There you go. That's nearly a thousand already. And that's suddenly run out of potassium. But we should have enough to complete the contract and sell a few. There you go. Contract completed. Complete the contract. That's five and a half thousand. And now we could go to the marketplace and sell our remaining 2,800 for 9,000. We actually got more money doing that than we did for the contract. So that's a bit crap, isn't it? So we've already got 76,000, but 
it's kind of cool right what's next increase your money earn two hundred and fifteen thousand in total with contracts or selling yield okay so we're going to do a full fertilization on that field Seemed a bit stuck there, didn't he? We'll do a full fertilization on that field. And then we'll see where we are. So we're still low on potassium, so let's whack some potassium in there. And we're going to need some potassium in there. It does instantly boost that up, right? So let's try this again. So next year, I'm going to plant some carrots. So yeah, so the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium is all going to drop. So can I? Uh, so I can't plan to boost any of the nitrogen stuff. That's interesting. Right, let's say carrot. Right, so middle of March looks to be good for carrots. 76. 76 becomes a thumbs up. So we could get carrots in there March to the middle of June. Expected revenue 2,591, which isn't very good. But if I plant that, okay, and then I'll just, I'll just do it again for next year, it's gone. So can you not plant right next to each other? Is that what it's saying? Wait a minute, what year are we in? We're in 2027. So where's it gone? It's vanished. It's on this field. Right, okay. So I'm going to try and do carrots again. Straight away. And it looks like we're going to get a good yield. We'll plant that, and again, 2,800, some of God. So that's two lots of carrots in one year. That's field 12, which is that field, right? So let's try this again. Meadow 13, definitely got it selected this time. Focusing on next year. I'm going to put some carrots in. That's 95% up there. Look at that. That's a lot. I'd love to get a double yield out of this as well. So let's do 78%. We're quite happy with that. And then without coming out of it, we're going to try and do another yield. 85, 86, 87, 89. Can we get it up to 90? No. 89 is the best we can get there, so I'm going to plant that. So we're going to do two lots of carrots next year. That's going to be interesting. Right. So we're on the 10th of the 9th, 2027. Let's just double check it. Click on the field. Go to plant. Field overview. Ah, nice. Okay, so yes, we've got them both booked in for next year. That's pretty cool. All right. So we're going to skip forward the next year. Panicked then. Right, so it's the, it's November. 
December. January. February. I just want to get maybe to the beginning of March. There we go, March. So let's check the field. So everything is good at the moment. Um, yeah, actually everything is good, isn't it? Maybe I'll just give it a little bit of potassium. What about this field? This field is also looking very good. So the moisture is good. Okay. We're looking pretty good. All right, so that's doing that now. So I'm just going to stick a bit of potassium in there. And see if we can't get this up beyond 200. That's my that's my query right now. So that's 200. Will it go above? No. So it's still 200. So you can't have more than 200 potassium in there. So you can keep chucking potassium in there all you like. Nothing will happen. Right. So we're preparing the seed bed. Now we're preparing this seed bed. Now, seeding. So has that gone wrong again? Because it says here seeding carrot in 89 days, but it should have seeded it already, right? And it's, it's cocked up. Perhaps because I had them both at the same time, So let's just do this so that that's slightly beyond. And we'll put carrots in there now. So it's kind of making crops overlapping. Update. Plant. Right. So I've staggered it a bit more now. Let's see if that works. So in three days, that should that should now be planting. That's not getting enough sunshine, but there's nothing we could do about that. All right, so that's growing and that's growing. That's looking really good. That's starting to look better. That's not going to be a full yield, but we're not worried about it because we're going to get double whammy this year. We're going to be up to 100,000. Obviously, if we had another tractor and another worker, that wouldn't be a problem. But it should, it should alert you to an issue like that and not just cock it up for you. Because that's a bit of a problem. So we're going to harvest that in something of days. So we need let's do a full fertilization thing. So we're harvesting these carrots. That's going to need uh Going to need a boost. That needs some potassium. In fact, that needs a bit of everything. So let's chuck a bit of everything at that one. And we'll chuck a bit more potassium at that one. Right, let's go to contracts, and they want 500 carrots, we'll say yes. That's that done. This is the best way to do it, obviously. 
Uh, they want 10,000 kilograms of carrots, loads of other bits and bobs and stuff. So we can't do any of those because we're just carrot growers at this moment in time. But can we go to the marketplace? Yes, we can. And we can sell 11,000 pounds worth. So we're going to be close. We're going to be close to that 100,000 pound target. We're both growing. It's pretty cool considering we're just growing carrots right now. Nothing else. We've got a massive field here that we could do something else with. Yeah, look got low on sun and it dropped all the way down from 70% to 30%. This is cool. I like this game. I'm really enjoying this game right now. Right, so we've harvested all of our carrots. We got the same amount again. Just shy of the £100,000 mark I was hoping for. But how much is this huge field? 20,000. Bosh. What an investment that's going to be. Should we stick to the carrots or should we... I think we're going to have to stick to the carrots because we, we haven't got any equipment other than that. So, we'll skip through to next year. December. Oh, January. Around about the beginning of March. Okay, so I'm going to take on a second worker. Damn it, I took on two extra workers that's not what i meant to do so we get rid of one right so now we've got two workers i'm going to buy second mini tractor oh, i obviously put that in the wrong place right so we've got forty-six thousand left this is a good game i am enjoying this Right, so that's going to need fertilising. That is also going to need fertilising, but we've only got one fertiliser truck. So, uh, does that need fertilising? No. Right, so we'll get this done first. This has to be our priority field, doesn't it? So we are going to plant carrots. We're going to get 92% there. What about if I drag it back? 79, 80. We want about 90%. 90% yield. It's going to cost 2,600. Bosh. And then we want to try and do it again. What are we going to get? 78%. What about there? 83%. I will take that. Bosh. So that could be 20, 30 grand. I didn't actually look. Was it reckoned? 50 grand, it reckons. From carrots. All right. All right. So. Field overview. So let's do meadow 13. We'll do it a bit early. Okay, it reckons we're going to get no yield at all, but that's because uh, yeah, it reckons we're going to get no yield at all, but that's because it's got um, no nutrients, no blah blah blah. But we're going to fix that. So we'll plant those four eighty four. We'll do the same again. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Well, let's just go and check that. Yep, yeah, okay, so I've done that wrong. So we'll move that back a few days and we'll move that back a few days. Great.
Do I not have to confirm that? I guess I don't. So in here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do carrots. Carrots. Okay, so we've planned it. I've staggered it. Obviously, we're not going to get great yield off both of them, but this is our priority field here. So, fingers crossed, we're going to be okay with that. Uh, so, situation at the moment. Okay, so we're going to need to do some fertilizing on there. Fertilizing on there. Still not good enough here, so we're going to have to do some more. Oh no, we're good. We're ready to rock and roll. Uh, need some potassium on that. So we're seeding this field first. Then we should be seeding over here, uh, spraying over here. Okay, we've gone straight into this. So there's a chance then. Oh no, that's done. That's done. That's done. Crop health is average. Okay. That's it. We're up and running. So we have three fields, full, full, full. We don't. That one's just being planted now. Right. Perfect. This is good. I'm really liking this game. I definitely think it needs to tell you what field is which, just so you can keep your brain straight. Let's see if we've got any contracts for carrots. So they want 500. We'll accept that. And that's all we're doing right now. All right. So this is really interesting. I'm hoping you can plant, uh, like, maybe some greenhouses so that you can do some stuff in the winter. It's going to get huge, this enormous you're going to be so busy i think it's really awesome so that's now bare there's an issue there but i don't know what it is it's low on potassium probably because there's so many carrots in there do you think Or is that this field? Hang on, I have two workers and two tractors. Why is there only one tractor out there doing any work? Because I haven't assigned that tractor to do that job right that's why how do i do that again right. so i can pick a machine but how do i know which machine is which it's a bit silly, isn't it? Okay, it's just updated that. So I think I've now got tractor number two working on this field. Uh, Oh, 
Ouais. I'm a little bit confused by that that section, that segment. Right, so that field, that field is short of potassium. So we'll get that done, please. Yeah, it seems like I'm not successfully getting both tractors working at the same time. Right, so the field is good. The field is good. The field is good. What's this? Not enough storage. You don't have enough storage. Okay. Uh, so I've got 20,000 units of carrots. That's 72,000. That's that's helped a lot. If we can do somewhere in the region of the same again. Okay. All three fields are growing again. Soil moisture got a bit low there, but then it started raining and that fixed that problem. So we're going to get less yield this time round because there's not enough sun. But we're still going to get a second yield. That's the important thing. So that's all three fields harvested. And we got 20,000 bomb, 161,000. Okay. So the, I'm still struggling with the worker. Um, spray pesticides. I haven't done that, have I? But it looks like the weeds are being controlled quite nicely. There's 30% there. Is that good or bad? When I hover over stuff, it just disappears too quickly. So I can't actually read what it says, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, no. Uh, okay, skip to next, next action. I think when that reaches the next year, it should stop. Because I've just wasted six months of the year there. That's really bad. Right, so I'm going to have to plant some carrots here and just hope for the best. Nuggets, not asparagus, carrots. I'm trying to rush a bit now. Right, so if we go to field overview. And then I'm going to try and quickly get some carrots. Not the ideal situation, this. So the fields are actually in good condition. Well, that's kind of useful. It means I could just plant them and go. No, immediately that's dropped. So we're going to have to get some fertilization on that one. That's also dropped. That's also dropped. Right, 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've tried fertilizing that field multiple times now. Either it's not doing it, or as soon as it's done, the problem comes back. Let's just see how bad this gets. Harvesting one, two. Oh, that was really bad. I think we got 3% harvest on that one. Let's have a look. Yeah, terrible amount. But we did get 177,000. Had we not have cocked up, I think we... Oh, we did get 215,000, according to this. And it says, congratulations, you reached the end of the tutorial. You know the most important elements of Global Farmer. Keep in mind that this is a demo and that the game experience will change over the course of development. I think that was really cool. I, I really like that. The concept is brilliant. The interface is a bit clunky. Um, certainly... The skip to next action should stop or pause at the end of the year. Um, there needs to be more feedback, and I still don't quite know how to get two workers working on two tractors at the same time. Uh, the whole UI element could do with some improvement, but overall, very impressed. I really like this game. It looks awesome. I really like it. Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please let me know your thoughts and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, take care. Goodbye for now.